Hello, welcome to the first session on square and square roots. First of all, we'll take a look into square of a number and the square numbers. We'll discuss them, you know, using uh, or taking the help of a few examples. I'll write the question first. The first being the very simple one, we have to check if a number is a perfect square or not. We have here this number 225, which we have to see if it is a or check if it is a perfect square. And if it is, is per, oh sorry, I wrote a wrong spelling. Is uh, 225 a perfect square? Now, if we say yes, then we also have to find the number whose square is. If so, we also have to find the number whose square is 225 so let's see in such in such questions first we have to express 225 as a product of their prime factors for doing so i'll just take the help of some short rough work i'll say this is 5 so it is 5 for the 20 5 5 is 25 and this is 5 and this is 9 and that's giving me 3 3 thereby I can see the prime factors of the product of prime factors of 225 is 5 into 2 into 3 into 3 so if you see these kind of expressions and can pair each Two of the factors in one group pair or group them at two in one group thereby anything is not left and for each of them I am getting this as 1 5 and this being a 3 so it is 15 so 225 is a square number uh, is a square of 15 let's take up one more example I am not writing the whole question in the next one simply will be putting up the figure or the number in the next one, we have to check if 63504 is a perfect square or not and also whose perfect square is or whose square is 63504. Now, let us again do this prime, product, express it as a product of prime factor. I am just quickly right, making this um, table so that it's easy for us quickly. 6, 3, 5, 0, 4. It's divisible by 2. If I divide it by 2, it will give me 3, 1, 7, 5, 2. Oh, I said 3, 1, 7, 5, 2. Right? 3, 1, 7, 5, 2. Again, that is divisible by 2. And that's giving me 1, 5, 8, 7, 6. I would have actually, should have actually made them a little broader. Never mind. And if I again divide it by 2, I'm getting 2, 7, 14, 2, 9, 18, 2, 3, 6, 2, 8, 16. Again, that's getting divisible by 2. They were giving me 3, 9, Adding 6 and again 9. This is not anymore divisible by 2 but is 15 and 11. So 36 that's divisible by 3. Again it's a prime number. I need to make, make a few of these chairs again. I hope they will fit in my prime factorization kind. This is giving me 1, 3, 2, 3 again. This is again divisible by 3. That's giving me 4, 4, 1. That's divisible by 3, 2. So it's 1, 1, 7. Let's see if it is divisible anymore. It's again divisible by 3. Or you can put up any other number like I can see directly that it's divisible by 7. I can take sake of 7 as 7 is also a prime number. So it gives me 21. Again that's divisible by 7 and that's giving me 3. 
let us now try to pair all of them for every two digits i'll be taking them as one of them yeah there are two threes as well this here and then here so what i can express it as how many twos i got to pair is two multiplied by two multiplied by three multiplied by seven and another three let's see two two four <laughs> sorry four three twelve twelve and twenty one I think that's giving me 252. So 6304 is a perfect square of and that the number is 252. You might come across numbers which are not perfect square. In such case, what would happen is even if you find this, I mean, you mean, um, sorry, I mean, you express the given number in terms of the product of their prime factors, you will find more one or more than one number doesn't have a pair to group themselves as I have done in these two questions. We have paired them each factors for every two factors we have paired them in one in in a non perfect number that you'll come across that there is one or more numbers are left unpaired we'll take one such example in the next page wherein i take i inform you that that's a non um, perfect number let's see how you come across or how do you get that one I got a number which says it is 17640. That's a not a perfect square. 17640. Let's see why and how it doesn't leave us with any pairing. I can see it is divisible by 5, which is a prime number. So it's 5, 3 is 15. That's left me with 2. 5, 5 is 25. 1, 5, 2 is 10. 5, 8 is 40. So it is 3, 5, 2, 8. Uh, 2 is dividing it. So it is 1, 7, 14, 2, 6, 12, 4. So it is one seven six four. Then again, it is divisible by three. Eh, sorry, two. So it is two eight is sixteen. Again, it is sixteen. Mm, and then two that will again give me a two. So this is in a four four one. This is divisible by three. So, and this will give me 3 ones at 3, 1, 3, 4 is 12, 47. Oh, again, I got 147 and that's divisible by 7 again. I think we got the same number in the previous question, previous number. That's 7 and it's giving me 21. This will again get divided by 7, which is a prime number again. And I'm left with a tree. Let's let's start pairing them. I'll be using the same color. This has got a pair. This has also got a pair. Now three and three given can be paired. But then are five and two. They don't have a partners. They don't have a pair wherein we can group them with two of the similar factors. So one seven six four zero is not a perfect square. You might come across questions which are not as direct as these ones wherein you were either supposed to find if they are perfect squared or not perfect squared. So I will write one such question. I can take this space up and write the question. It says find the smallest number by which oh so sorry for this kind of mistake by which two five two double zero should be divided so that the 
result is a perfect square that means it already informs us that 25200 is not a perfect square and what do we multiply so that it becomes a perfect square now let us first try to understand or find out which of the prime factors is doesn't have a pair such that this becomes a non-perfect square let's see and start finding out the prime factors of 25200 so that it will help us reach wherein or see or find out why or which factor doesn't have a pair 25200 see i can start with either a 2 or a 5 i can see 5 is kind of dividing this 25200 so it is 5040. Again, I can take a 5. So that's giving me 1008. No more by 5. So I can take up 2. So it's 504. Another 2 again. So it is 2. 2, 2 is 4, 5, 2. That's dividing by 2. So it is let me extend again so 252 again divisible by 2 will give us 1 2 6 i can directly take 3 as such 3 4 and 2 again by 3 so it is 1 4 and again it is 2 and 7. Here we the question said we have to divide so that the number you also come across questions where it asks you to find a number such that you multiply with the given square, non square number so that the answer or the result becomes a perfect square. Now let's see and start pairing, uh, pairing them. 5 has got a pair. This 2 has also got a pair this twos mm, got a pair got themselves a pair and three as well so seven is now left without a pair which we can divide by so that the question whatever we get will be a perfect number so our answer becomes seven should be divided from the seven should be divided or the number should be divided by 7. Sorry, I'll just say. Yeah, you can write because the question is asking what should be divided to. So, 7 can be divided so that we get a number which is a perfect square. This was, you know, the first view, few very basic things. Now, regarding the patterns of squared numbers, the properties of squared numbers, it is not quite... Um, uh, you, you don't get that in application of any rules or pattern but then we take up a few questions wherein we get to know about certain patterns of squares numbers and then we move on to square roots there are a few numbers given supposedly to you like the ones I'm writing down on the screen 1057 and then it is Two, three, four, five, three. There is seven, nine, two, eight, and then I have got this two lakh twenty two thousand two hundred and twenty two. These are not perfect squares. Why? With I mean, with this introduction, we get to know that the natural number which ends in the digit. 2, 3, um, 7, 8 are not perfect squares. So I'll just write down the first one which you can remember memorize is any number or natural numbers ending with digits, sorry, sorry, digits. these ones the one you can see in the examples two three seven and nine are not perfect squares.
squares. So we henceforth to remember, we come across any numbers ending with the digits, they will not be perfect square. They might just, the next uh, set of, you know, variety of questions under this you will come across like few numbers or few um, values are given or the numbers are given you have to um, mentally say what would be the unit digit of the uh, per square of that given number that's not quite difficult supposedly i have given you 51 or kind of any number you don't have to actually uh, find out the exact square it simply will be asking you what will be the unit digit of the squares of these given numbers like 51 into 51 so the last digit will be or the unit place uh, digit will be 1 multiplied to 1 so you will be getting the unit digit 1 for 51 for 54 similarly it will be 4 into 4 so the unit place will have to have 6 of the 16 and 65 into 65 that is 5 5 in the unit place gives you 25 again the unit place will then have a 5 right similarly if suppose you are given some numbers like 213 or 3824 or 9777 or 4002 in such cases they might ask you if this perfect or if the squares of these numbers will be odd and even see it's it's similar to the application for this one you first find mentally what will be the unit digit of this um, square numbers uh, these uh, squares of these numbers like three in the unit place so you will get a nine in the unit place that means this will be an odd number similarly four so that it will be four four is 16 so six will be in the unit place that's a even that's an even number for this the last digit or the unit digit is 49 so it will get a 9 that's again another odd for 4002 your unit digit is 2 and if we square it it will get 4 4 is an even number so 4002 square will be an even number this is the very you know basic ones we will move on to few more of you know, such questions on patterns and then take up square root in the next few sessions. Thank you.